Welcome back to Untethered. We are still up here in the Buffalo River area. Today we're in Jasper, Arkansas. We're about to walk a nice little three and a half mile hiking trail that goes to a plane crash site out in the woods. What was it, a bomber from like World War II? From the 40s, yeah. So we're gonna check out some wreckage today. Pretty cool. And we just ate a really huge meal oh, at my Lord. Cliff House Restaurant, which just the drive to get there was incredible this yeah. morning. We did it early and so you could see the fog along the valleys and the drive alone was beautiful. Then we ate a lot of food and now we're gonna go hike it. So we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> and pro tip, don't tank up on chicken and waffles and sausage patties and syrup and then go decide to hike in the woods. Look at people that advice, it was delicious. It was good, but it was a bad life choice. <laughs> Let's go. All right. The question is, is it worth crossing the giant tree to have a shorter hike? <laughs> I thought we might be able to cross this, but there's um, a lot. Well, how much is it adding on to go the other way? We're basically going to do the loop twice if we go the other way. Yep, crossing the tree. No, not crossing the tree. We're going to do this. Conquered. That wasn't so bad. So this was the site of a B-25 crash back in 1948 where five airmen lost their lives here. And there's still a little bit of the wreckage around. Otherwise, it's a really pretty spot. You know, it's just kind of a sad reason to be here. Finishing up our last day here in Kingston, Arkansas. Cody got a lot done while I took my nap. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've yet to have my nap. She actually took hers in the chair here a minute ago, but wanted to go ahead and get a few things done today. Our family's still here, so they're still out doing adventures and they'll be in later today. So I thought I'd take advantage of this time, put away some of our workout gear since we haven't had a gym here and wanted to go ahead and dump and flush the tanks today so we don't have to do that tomorrow. Put a little water in, yada, yada, yada. We're in a little better shape for leaving tomorrow, less to do tomorrow morning, which I like. I'm not too worried about getting out of here tomorrow. I mean, once you get to the campsite, it's nice and wide open, so I can just go out here and kind of make a U-turn, but the challenge here is the road. The road's pretty nasty getting in, and I love the campground, full hookups, a uh, little pricey for Arkansas, but I think that's more about where we're at. So we did find out that this location is really big for ATV usage. So Lots of toy haulers. So everyone who's here brought an ATV because their trails are literally right here, yeah. right off the campground. And we were talking to some people and found out there are other campgrounds nearby, but they don't have full hookups. So this is new and yep. this is something that people are really excited about. So that's where the price comes in because the amenities for what we do feels a little high. The big thing is RVs are not really made for off-road use and it doesn't take a whole lot to damage something on the axles or the suspension So we're just gonna take it nice and easy getting out of here tomorrow I, I wouldn't say I'm nervous about it because I've already got in I know I can get out But we just have to take our time and be extra careful and I know in the truck to go I think it's 1.1 miles from here to the highway and I know in the truck that takes about 12 minutes because I don't really like beating my truck up too bad going down these rough so, roads So it's gonna be quite a bit more with the RV. Yeah but we'll, uh, we'll take you guys along with us, kind of show you what the challenges are getting in and out of here, and hopefully that'll help you out if you decide to come discover the natural state. Yep. In the meantime, I think once family gets back, we're going to have one last little get-together, maybe some dinner, yep. and we're off in the morning. We'll see you then. Beautiful 
Sunday morning kind of caps off a great week weather wise. It's just been awesome not a drop of rain and we got a nice windless day and about an eight hour ride. So I think we're about ready to hook up, right? Yep, we said our goodbyes and we're running a little, I'd say a little behind schedule, a little later than we'd like, but- It's almost nine. Yeah, we're still okay. We're yeah. gonna, we're ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll, cause it's gonna take us a minute to get down this hill, yes. mountain, whatever you wanna call it. We're so. gonna start the clock. It's travel day, let's go. I'm kind of going slow here out of necessity. It's not that we can't go faster. It's just more that like right there, we just pulled It's about a seven degree grade at three miles an hour. But my goal here is to not bounce the camper too much because while the truck has plenty of power and capability and can take these roads, we all know RV axles and springs and all that good stuff. They're really more made for the highway. So hitting these sharp rocks and bouncing, you know, it's kind of hard on the tires, hard on the springs. So. We're just taking it nice and easy so we don't tear anything up. At least with our truck, when you're running around in first, this truck's so torquey, it's actually kind of harder to go slow, especially when you're pulling, because it, it tends to want to go on. So it's kind of just feathering the throttle to make sure we don't spin or sling gravel all over the trailer, or get going too fast uphill and bounce things around. So it's all about throttle control. More of what I'm concerned about are these next couple of turns because they get down to, really down to like one lane road in terms of width. And A, it's really steep. It's eight or 10 degrees up, if I remember right from coming in. But it's also on a curve so you can't get a run at it. And we've got jagged rocks all in front of us. So I really can't do much in terms of speed without fear of damaging a tire or anything on the trailer particularly the springs and axles so once we get past that one we're home free but right now it's just rough this hill's not bad but it's this last turn i'll probably have you get out and just kind of spot me and kind of be watching up the hill for another car because if somebody else comes around that corner particularly someone with the trailer it's going to get interesting real quick because it's once you make the turn as you'll see once you make the turn, it's it's one-way traffic. Good job, I wanna go watch you on the next corner. And backing down doesn't sound really good because I know coming down, I was really having to work the brakes to keep everything kind of at a at a slow enough pace. I'm Maybe I'm being overly cautious, but I don't like braking stuff. Braking stuff's expensive. Good. We're pretty close to the bed, just take it real slow. That's that Ford power, baby. We're through the worst of it, but now we're on flat ground. I'm just gonna hop out, do a quick walk around, look at the trailer and the truck before we get on the highway, and then we're home free kind of 400 miles to go. So about to 
hit the highway. I think that took us, what, about 30 minutes to navigate our way down that road, slowly but surely. Yeah. So yeah, on the road again. Let's do it. All right, so we are doing a little fuel stop for the truck and a little fuel for us. And we're at one of my favorite places to get road food, which is Casey's, because I know they've got pizza and burgers and they're always good. So you guys watch the dogs. We're going to go find something to eat. <laughs> Somebody has to. Had to stop for a little fuel. It's going to be at least a two fuel stop trip. But I wanted to take a second to remind you guys don't forget about our Amazon Influencer Store. We'll put a link right here at the bottom and also in the description because Prime Day is here, so it's a good time to get your extra savings, and it really helps us out a lot too. So don't forget to check out our store in the description. Save yourself a little money on Prime Day. Well, I figured I'd let the fuel pump. Take, take a little bite while I'm, while I'm fueling. I'm not sponsored by Casey's Pizza. <laughs> I think I sponsor Casey's because I buy so much of this stuff on travel days. It's top notch. Since I have my mind more on pizza than on fuel, we're going to have to back out because the way this Casey's is set up, I'll never make that swing. So we're going to have to actually back out into the road here a little bit. So get your thinking cap on. Fuel stops are always a great time just to walk around, kind of check and make sure the bikes are still secure, get a good look at all my door hatches, make sure nothing popped open coming down the road. So far it hasn't, but you can't be too careful. I like to pop down, get a little look at the tires, make sure everything looks good, touch the hubs, make sure you don't have one that's a whole lot hotter than the other that might signify a problem, which I worry a little more about running in the hills like this. Just kind of do a quick walk around it only takes a couple of seconds to be safe and as always better safe than sorry you're all clear back here i'm gonna have to use some of the street should be good now all right we got out of that relatively easy but time for swappies i'm ready for a nap Swappy time. Here we go. I can do for you? I'll let you know. Do you want murder or do you want music? I think I want murder today. Alright, let's get you a murder podcast going. Quite literally in the wind. He's gone. I'm Lester Holt and this is Dateline. I don't like that at all. Look how slanted that thing is. And their trash is back there. Do they know the trash is back there? This is where we lost the hubcap on the boat that time. <laughs> we literally came through here with our boat. <gasps> You're good. People that are from St. Louis or anywhere around here can attest to this. It's like, until you get to St. Louis, 
on 44, the roads are pretty good. But when you get to St. Louis, it's like Illinois starts to rub off on Missouri because there's a major difference between Illinois and Missouri roads. And I think Illinois just kind of bleeds over here to the metro area. Bye, St. Louis. Can you go one more? If not, just hold this one. You're in the wrong lane. It's okay. Just ride it. You're good. It'll circle around and you'll have another chance to get back on. Just too many cars. Get four lanes over. We're not in Mexico. We just crossed into the state of Illinois. <laughs> Our poor trailer. The truck's fine, but the poor trailer. We're going to cap this day in the most perfect way possible. Right after we get backed in and set up. You better subscribe us. Hey, Daddy, long leg will be in your bed tonight. Oh, no! <laughs> the only thing that sucks, I had to say that again because I think I said the S word with it. The drive alone was beautiful. Then we ate a, then we ate a lot of food. And we're about to walk a nice little... <laughs> <laughs> we're about to walk a nice little...